So I made a decision last week to upgrade my sawmill. I've been running the LT35 for almost six years now. Um, bought it in 2015, April of 15, and it's been a, a great mill. It's been a workhorse. Um, I've put somewhere in that neighborhood of 600 hours on it and a bunch of board feet through it. Uh, but it's to the point where I need something bigger. So I talked to Joe over at Woodmiser, Carolina on Wednesday last week, and we worked up a, a price, and I decided, I have decided that we need to tweak a few things. So uh, I'm gonna make a phone call, and I'm gonna go ahead and get on the list for New LT35 or LT40 super hydraulic. Um, the the kick to the ordering of this mill is simply I've got to wait almost another year to get it. Um, they are 44 weeks out, 42 weeks out, something like that. Um, delivery date is tentative, tentative, tentatively. Um, February, first of February, end of January. So that's a wait and see kind of situation. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna go out here in the truck and where all my important decisions are made and sit here and make a phone call and spend a lot of money. Hey Joe, this is Ben Bradley. How are you doing today? Doing fine, doing fine. Um, I got your quote there uh, last week when we talked. Um, there's a couple things I'd like to change on that, or at least talk to you about. Well, answer me this question on that lube miser. In the winter time, when it drops below freezes. My mill sits outside. Is my am I gonna have to worry about my pump? The seals in that pump. Yeah. Well, what what's my what would that total be with uh, just no debarker and the lube miser system? Okay. Okay. Well, um, what kind of uh, what kind of deposit are we talking about? All right. Say again. <laughs> good deal, good deal. Well, and I figured, I, I told my wife, I said, well, I said, it's probably going to be into January, 1st of February now, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Forty-three weeks first first week of February. Right, right. Right. Well let me let me ask you let me ask you this and it has nothing nothing to do with me, just you know, idle curiosity. How long is it gonna take Woodmiser to get caught up to where they're, you know, a couple weeks out? Yeah, right. <laughs> so 
the answer to my question was the list ain't getting no shorter. Um, he said Indianapolis wood miser was capable of producing about 300 mils per month. And right now they are getting orders for 300 plus mils every five days. So he said, you know, if you're going to get on the list, get on the list now because you know there's been he said he's had a few folks say hey i'm gonna wait till the list dies down he said you know not that it won't but the odds are much lower that the list will get smaller than it will get larger so friends if you want a sawmill go ahead and get on the list now and just set out your wait period um we decided to go ahead and pull the trigger on the 40 super hydraulic with the lube miser um, originally i had the debarker on there and and i think i probably will never get a debarker um but if i do decide to it's easier to put on than the than the lube miser system is to wire up and run all that plumbing and whatnot the uh the, the real concern that i had was you know when it gets cold you know, the, the cold here in North Carolina kind of sneaks up on you. It might be 70 like it was yesterday. And then it'll be, you know, 30, 40 like it is today. So, you know, just being aware that I need to purge that line whenever I leave my sawmill. Uh, you know, especially if it's the winter time, regardless of whether they're calling for bad weather or not. So, you know, put my mind at ease on that. Um, that's one thing I like about Wood Miser. It doesn't matter how many questions you have, uh, you know, they'll sit and answer them. Um, I was on the phone with Joe Wednesday last week, probably every bit of 30 minutes, if not 45. Uh, and he you know, answered all my questions. We worked up two different um, orders, you know, two different uh, quotes then. And then, you know, I told him, I said, I'm going to take me a little bit of time, think about it, talk to my wife so she doesn't, you know, kill me in my sleep. Uh, so I talked to her, run it by her, get the, get the all clear. And then, you know, we'll, uh, we'll talk next week. So I caught him today. It's uh, the 16th of March. Um, so I caught him today and, talked to him for about another 25 minutes and you know still you know wood miser they've always treated me like a person and not like a number that that they were trying to you know <laughs> kick down the road so that's one one check mark in the pros column of many for wood miser um, i need to uh before my lt35 goes down the road in the next year i need to uh I need to take some time and, and go through it and show you guys some, some components on it, some things on it that that really I like a lot. I'm going to miss on that unit. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we pulled the trigger on an LT40 Super Hydraulic today. I'm a little bit excited, a whole lot nervous, and yeah, we'll see it. In the end of January.